So just a quick video on this uh, dwarf crayfish that I bought. Um, this was one of the first inhabitants of this tank. Uh, this tank is fairly new. You see him sitting here next to a uh, moss ball. And what I didn't know about these little critters is that uh, they're very voracious uh, when it comes to food. And I didn't realize that they were uh, herbivores as well. I think they're omnivores. Um, I probably should have better researched it because he's been tearing up the plant, uh, the, the plants in the tank, um, particularly the um, dwarf hair grass. Now, the dwarf hair grass, I recently uh, experimented with planting it. This is probably not even the right substrate for it. I mean, it is eco complete, um, and there's some other uh, type substrate that's supposed to be conducive to plant growth, but. Uh, it's you're supposed to use finer grain, so I don't know if I'm gonna have any success. But the big problem with the, <laughs> the planting is that the crayfish has been going around and literally just tearing up. He just got done tearing up about three or four tufts, and he eats them and eats them all. And then as he's eating, he's a very messy eater. Uh, the uh, little bits and pieces of grass go floating, floating to the top, and I'm constantly having to fish them out. I can try and replant, well there's a big piece that he tore up there, and I can try and replant it, but literally about 15 minutes ago I replanted about six different little pieces, and he's already torn up two of them. And uh, what he'll do is he'll pull them up, literally by the roots, he'll pull the stones back, pull up, <laughs> pull up the roots, and uh, he'll eat from the roots, and then eat all the stems up. It's just incredible. And he just never stops eating. He's also pretty much going to destroy this plant. I forgot what this is called. It's not Bacopa, but um, I bought it about a week ago. It cost $9 and some tax, and he's absolutely just chewed up uh, most of the ends of it. He hasn't really pulled it out from the roots. He starts with the leaves, and then the leaves go floating around the tank. Surprisingly, even the tetras will eat um, the little petals on this plant. So um, if you're ever thinking of getting one of these little crayfish, just be wary because they're constantly hungry. I feed him uh, pellets that the that's you know designed for loaches and stuff. You know it's just your typical spiraluna and uh, fish meal and what have you. But um, he'll eat those and he can never seem to get enough to eat. And he'll just roam around the tank, attacking all the um, little bits of uh, of grass here. So I've pretty much given up hope on that the grass is going to spread. That's what the idea was initially. I think he's going to end up uprooting just about everything. You can see over here, he tore this piece up, and it's sort of dangling on this little uh, mondo grass here. Um, he hasn't really gone after the bigger plants. I'm um, hoping that uh, he'll leave those alone. But he does forage around constantly and, uh, and, and eat the grass. So that's something that I should have been more aware of. Just a couple of minutes before I started uh, videoing this, um, he jumped on top of this moss ball. And uh, you can actually see him. He'll put his mouth to it and pull off bits and pieces. So there, it's a, it almost seems like there's not a whole lot of different types of uh, you know plant material that he's not interested in at least trying out. So um, I know he's getting plenty to, plenty enough to eat with the uh, <laughs> with the pellets, but apparently he's got an appetite for all this other uh, fauna in here. So I guess word of caution. What I'm probably going to do is, if he continues to be this destructive, I'm going to have to move him to a, a new tank, um, you know, that's a little bit more specialized.